want to show you a little bit more in depth how to get a great blend. Um, you do that by using your lever and by switching out the guard. So when your lever's all the way up, your blades are close. If you pull your lever down, it's going to move those blades farther apart, which gives you more space. So basically like if I put a one guard on um, with the lever down, it's going to be a one and a half. Um, so we're gonna start with the one guard, put the lever down a one and a half, and then I'm going to show you how to do a perfect blend. We're getting rid of this facial hair, so I'm not too worried about this part right here. Luke, say hi to the camera. Hi, <laughs> how's it going? This is my future brother-in-law, Luke. He's basically the best. <laughs> See how this neck hair is like aggressively growing up. So when I put my clippers up, it doesn't cut this at all. This is when you turn your clippers opposite the direction the hair grows. See right there, see how this grows like this little like weird thing. I'm going to turn it opposite and make sure to get all those places cut evenly. Make sure that's cut clear out on the temples. Okay, now switch your guard. I'm going to put a number two on. But since my lever is down, that would make it like a two and a half, so I'm going to put the lever up for a two. Now when I come here, especially this is the side that he has got this comb over, I'm not gonna go much higher on this side. I'm just going to start blending it out. So as soon as that hair comes out of those clippers, we're gonna rock it away from the head. You can hear in your clippers as soon as that hair is coming out. Rock those clippers away so you put your, the guard really flush to the head, then rock it away. And with this left hand, you wanna keep it on the top of their head. It just kind of keeps, um, or gives you a little bit more confidence to cut. Look how his hair grows. He's got his swirly on this side. So typically you would part from the swirly because it naturally pushes that hair. Um, but he parts on this side. So we're going to have to take this a little bit shorter and then blend it in. So normally we kind of keep it longer, kind of doing a diagonal, but we're going to bring this up quite a bit shorter so this doesn't poke up. Now move your guard or your lever down so it adds another half of a length and do the exact same thing. So a haircut's just like a lot of repetition. You go over and over and over until it looks really good. You can always go back in with your first guard, move that lever down, and barely, barely go up and rock those clippers away just to soften any um, bit of a line. See how I'm making sure that this lever, or I mean this guard is really flush. If you come up like this, you're going to gouge this, you're not going to cut. So just put that up. You can see I'm just barely, barely getting any off when I get to that little ridge. I come around. And then you want to rock those clippers away. If there's any little line, like right there, that I think could be a little bit better. I'm gonna put my comb in, put your texturing shears with the teeth down and make a few little cuts. I like to take that short, plus I like to take the texturing shears and just go different directions and to kind of thin it out. So. It will give you a few more weeks because a lot of times the first place you see are like the puffy sides and then you see this sticking up weird. If you thin that out and get rid of some of the hair, it's going to buy you a few more weeks um, of really needing a haircut. 